This story brought to you by Hoffman Audi of East Hartford and New London. Astronaut Katie Coleman returned on May 23rd from the International Space Station where she spent 159 days in space. We asked her how she felt returning to Earth after being weightless for so long. I landed well. Yeah. It was, um, I, I was pleased. I felt actually great. You know, I mean, I certainly could walk. I think your head's a little, a little, it's kind of like when you get off a boat, but a lot more right. <laughs> exciting. Right. So is the exercise in, during, on the station contribute to how well you do when you get out? I think it does. You know, I actually, I mean, I can only speak from my own personal medical data, right. but I came back with uh, really good uh, bone, bone density. Um, and, and I think that is attributed to, you know, in some part to the exercise, in some part to I was using one of the um, osteoporosis drugs, okay. trying out, you know, just trying to understand how they work since right. things happen to us so much faster up there. Right. We lose bone and we gain bone so much faster. Coleman, a New Englander, resides in western Massachusetts. After nearly two months of debriefing, she's taking some time off to be with her family, and she's happy to be home. You know, it's funny, um, being back, like I... I knew I would miss from being up there the view of the earth up there and I took a lot of pictures and video of New England certainly because it's so beautiful and I thought I would just miss that so much but the first time I got to come back in early June to New England it was a beautiful kind of June day and things are growing in the garden and I hadn't remembered how much I had missed maybe being part of the view or having the view be so close. Yeah. Astronauts have always been highly trained engineers, pilots and scientists. But now in the age of broadband internet they're required to become journalists too, providing video and frequent blog posts. Coleman says it's now an important part of the mission. It is amazing. You know, it's funny, we certainly get training in cameras and in video, yeah. and and yet, you know, you it's not always, you know, the unless it's part of the operational mission, it's not always a priority, but then as soon as you get up there, you find you really want to share, and you want to show people what it feels like and what it looks like and what you're doing, and, and I actually feel like we almost owe it to folks because this facility is up there, six people are living there, we have everything we need to be doing research, and we are doing research. We have power, we have data, we have trained people, and a great orbiting space station. A reader asked via Twitter for advice on how to encourage her daughter's interest in science. Coleman says it's all about inspiring their curiosity. I think you just have to listen to your kids, see what they're interested in, and help them always be curious and help them feel comfortable and confident about asking questions that they don't necessarily know the answers to. That, you know, asking questions is part of learning, not just knowing the answer. For CTTechJunkie.com, I'm Lon Seidman. Sometimes we don't quite make the corner there.